Woo! Welcome to Behind the Velvet Ropes. Do you want fashion? Well, you're going to get it on today's BTVR. It's new, it's fresh, and it's exciting, so stay tuned. Well, we're here downtown to meet one of my favorite designers, Richard Tyler. Oh, fashion doggy, he's so cute. Anyway, we're going backstage, models, hair, makeup, and cruise. How do we get in? Hi, Hi. I'm Hi. here to interview Richard. Richard? Yeah, this is Richard Tyler's show, isn't it? Yeah. Am I in the right place? Izerski. Oh, come on. I knew it. Lauren, I knew it. who? Oh. <laughs> People are very confused today. Hello. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Good. Julie, how Hi. you doing? Hi. We're very early, which is good. Ooh, it's kind of happening already. But he's working hard, sewing, steaming, working. Getting ready for hair and makeup. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. We freak everybody out. I'm very happy, by the way, that you're here because I'm surrounded by a very nice people who I'm working with. So, okay, this is cool. I've never seen this before. This is your team. So you're showing them and explaining what the hair is going to be today. Absolutely. So can we just kind of barge in and listen to what you're telling them? We're talking about a sexy woman, really attractive. We're talking about actress. We're not talking about model. Oh, we're talking actress. actress. Cool. We're talking black and white movie from 60s, like all the Mastroianni waves, all the 60 waves. I love your theme. Here's a theme thing going on. So is everybody getting it here? All you hair people getting it? Are you understanding what he's telling you? Yes. You're getting yes. it. All right, good. So. All right, who's head makeup? No, we got everything. Hey, I know you. How are you? <laughs> of course. You? I'm really good. So what's the makeup? I'm looking at your hand. Would this be a little sample? This is a little sample. Well, you're just looking good. I see this is the idea. This is the makeup. That's beautiful. That it's kind of a 20s inspired, very dark eyes. The clothes are a little 20s-ish. Um, it's also got like the, the rock and roll hair. You have like six people working with you. Yeah, and there's another one coming. Because it takes a while to do each girl, and you have to do it perfectly. Yeah, and usually the girls are late, and I need them done what do you in mean five they're minutes. Late? What do you mean they're late? That's, well, they're that's... coming from another show, so. I don't know, who is before here? I don't know. I don't know uh, Bill yet. Blass. Bill Blass. But nobody's here yet. They're late now. I'm sensing glitz, fabulosity, ladylike, pretty. Did I get that? The glitz? Well, a little bit. <laughs> For me, a little bit of glitz. All right, so tell me what we're going to see. What we're, are we we're seeing? We're going to see wonderful women, women from, from the turn of the century through to the 20s. And their life, whether it's their movement, suffragettes, during the First World War, you know, there's like little subtle details. Usually you don't do a theme. This seems a little different for you. Maybe it's, it's a new, new, new place. Maybe yeah, a, a new space, congratulations. Oh, this is like fabulous. It's gonna be great. I've been here years ago before yeah, you I'm owned sure. it. Everybody's we, been here. <laughs> this was a party house, I have to tell you. It but has we, a history, a big guitar. We didn't know about that before we bought it, but anyway. 
Are your clothes reflecting this new attitude? It's always feminine, very sexy, very tailored, very spin on the classics, you know, which we're sort of known for. Mm. But that part, but I think it's not as heavy as, uh, it's very light. Actually, for, for a full collection, it's very light. I've always said that you are one of the few people that can make a really sexy suit. And I think it's hard to make a menswear tailored suit yeah, look sexy. Yeah, it's easy to do a big shoulder and baggy. That's easy. But I, I mean, make a woman's body look, uh, you know, and I have fabulous people here that, you know, they do it for me. I think, you know, a lot of people, when they look at the collection, there's a lot of chiffons and then they go, but this is a full collection, how, you know, how can I wear it? But, I mean, if you use, really, you, you know, you put a coat over it, or you put a, you know, whatever you got, fur, or whatever you want to do. Um, so, you know, but it's light, it's, it's, it's very, it has that period of, of um, from the very corseted, the very, you know, with, with this sort of thing happening, in jewellery, and Fred Layton, um, I love Fred Layton. You got the most amazing Fred Layton jewelry. Oh my god, he's from amazing. Consuela Vanderbilt's collection. Really? Yeah, like big security guards are around here today. Well, I got a big bag. They better watch <laughs> out for me. You better tell them. Watch that chick over there. And we've the never pocket. and we never used jewelry. I and mean, this is the first time probably we've used like yeah, jewelry. yeah, you don't. No. How, and so why are you using jewelry? This it just season? seemed right. The setting, that the clothing was like, and it gives it that sort of edge, very rock and roll. It's very rock and roll. Well, you're always a little rock and roll. I mean, yeah. that's your your LA. You know, you always have those clients. You have those. <laughs> <laughs> I love you're looking really chic today. Oh, this yeah, is a new right. look for you. <laughs> this, this house is, it's funny, isn't it? Like a, a house makes a huge difference yeah. in the way you think and you design or, or do whatever you want to do in your life. And you know, and, and I think, you know, moving to this, it's much more clean, zen. You know, zen, um, hum, yeah. hum, hum. But it's Thank fun. you, Richard Thanks. Tyler, I love you. Ooh. <laughs> We have to go backstage to John Cher. So look at all the boys in blue. Hey guys, you having fun? All right. We love our police officers in New York City, yeah. They guard us. They protect and serve me. I like that. Model, she's late. You're late. Late for a very important day. <laughs> We're here to interview John. Okay, he's not here yet. So yeah. What do you mean he's not here yet? We're here. He should be here. I'm here. You're here. I am here. I'm well, give me some badges anyway, because I have to go in and talk to the hair and makeup I people. Two, okay. Badges, badges. We need our stinking badges today. Here, my assistant can hold our badges today. Well, it's very mellow in here. So, Odia, we're now at John Cher. Yeah. So, what are we going to do for House of Cher? We're doing men's and women's today. Yes, men's and women. The look is like uh, it's done no? and a bit destroyed at the same time. But the, fa the, the design, it's quite designed the way it's done. Frankie B. Frankie B, that's looking good. So talk to me, what are we doing at House of Cher today? We're kind of doing just like a black eye, a little bit of gold in the middle, kind of like an elegant eye, and really natural skin, and a little bit of clear lip gloss on the lips. It's men and women's today. Yeah. So are you doing anything for the men? Or? No, the men will keep uh, just natural. Men are butch, yeah. all right. No makeup. Do you like makeup? My cameraman, I've seen him every now and then wear lipstick. Come on, yeah. John, you know. Not me. Waiting for John. You were sleeping before. Did you get a good nap over there? 
What's your name? James. 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 So do you like modeling? Yes, yeah, very cool. Okay. And how long have you been modeling for? About a year. So you're making lots of coin, okay. lots of money, you know. I don't really think about it, so true. You don't think about it? How come? Really? It's all about what are you working for? Pardon? Why are you working? Everyone needs to work, don't they? Do you make lots of money? Um, I don't make any money, but Seriously? I work. No, I really don't make a lot of money. I borrow my clothes. So what are you doing it for? Because I love it. Exactly. It's all about working. So where's your clothes? What are you wearing today? Um, I'm wearing these Where are boots. You? Oh, here you are. Which I think are pretty rad. You get to take this stuff home with you? I, I have requested if I could have the boot. I think it's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to talk to John about that for you. Definitely. I'll tell him to let you have it. Cool. That's a really nice photo, too. You like it? Yeah, I do. Really good look. John, hey, how are you? <laughs> I was just chatting up James. James the model. Oh, well. He's really cute. Yeah, what did he say? Well, he wants the boots. Uh, oh, everybody wants the boots. So I said I would talk to you about that. We're on a lookout for the boots. We know they're going to be missing. You so. need some security people to like watch out for we that. Yeah, we're going to watch them, so, so, OK, this is your first show again in a while right. on In Bryant Park. Right. Why is now the right time to do it here? Well, I think, you know, putting all the shows together, it's really still a great idea. and. You know, it's great to be unified and kind of get that extra international press here that we might not off, you know, off site. What's your look for fall 2001? I'm sending, sending earth tones, some prints. Right, it's very earthy. Um, we're doing a lot of browns, a lot of like clay colors, um, deep tones, you know, some tapestry type of prints, Russian prints. We're very inspired by like peasant and, you know, Russian. We have a lot of like those crushed down Cossack boots. And so there's a lot of like reference to peasant, you know, but it's very clean and still feels luxurious, you know, but a little bit earthier than the luxe idea of what we saw last fall or, you know, it's kind of like a transition into But it's, that. it's still a little luxe because right, you're using a, a, like opulent fabric. Right, we have we... opulent fabric, we have suede, we have shearling, you know, it's, I mean, beautiful wools from Scotland, all the fabrics are from Italy and, you know, draping, silk charmeuse, I mean, it's, they're luxurious fabrics, but we're just handling them in a more earthy way. My customer, you know, we really have like a really forward customer. So, you know, they want to have clean shapes, but, you know, they want to keep newness in their closet. So we just keep pushing a little, a little further ahead. You know, it's still very saleable, but, you know, we try and introduce that new shape, like a puff, a puff sleeve or, you know, for the guys, like, you know, a skinny low rise, you know, flare jean or something. And, you know, our guys are the first ones to buy it. What are you showing on the leg for pantyhose? Like, what kind of hose you're in? Well, for us, because we've got that boot, I think an opaque stocking or like a rib stocking looks really right. You know, it gives you that uniform leg, and you know, you can work that with like a short tunic, or you, you know, it looks great with like a long bias skirt or a split skirt, something like that. It looks terrific. Thank you so much, John Cher. Oh, I love you. I'm so happy that you're doing oh, this. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Lauren. Yeah, I love John. He's one of my favorites, my buddy. <laughs> well, we're going to leave John Cher and go to Coogee of Australia. I like Australia because you know what? My show is in Australia. Oh, I get to walk down the runway. Ward's doing three things at a time. He's smoking a cigarette, doing some hair, and looking good. 
So what are we doing? This is this is like, you know, kind of Mad Max, urban legend, really funky. I like that. Yeah. So how'd you decide to do this look? Well, they came with the idea that I wanted something like this. And I'm executing it for them. Yeah. Is she going to be able to take that out at the end of the show? Where it stays in like that no, for the next 10 years? No, it comes out pretty good. Well, how many people do you do versus your assistant? Like, how many heads are you going to do? Uh, I already did three. Wow. <laughs> and That's it just fast. started, but uh, I, I need to go around everywhere to make sure that the same hand gets going in, in all the heads, more or less. <laughs> okay. So I'll be floating around because there's a couple of new guys in my team. Floating. Well, floating yeah, is good. Directing. Alec, Weck in the house. Uh -oh. Alec, you got hair today. Hair Alex, today, gone tomorrow. Hair today. <laughs> yes, I do. Hair today, gone tomorrow. That's a good one. So this is a totally new look. Do you love getting done? You're just... I love it. Every day is something different. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. I'm having fun with it. So you, this is kind of groovy. Is it glued? It's not glued or anything. Um, yes, it is. Oh, it is? <laughs> they have the, these models are tortured. See what it's like to be a supermodel? It's really hard. You have to no. glue to your hair. No. It's rough. But it's hard work because really you're... It's not so bad. This week you're pushed, shoved, pulled. Does it ever get tired? Um, tiring? That's when you say no going out after work, go to bed. <laughs> Look, it's Armando. It's fashion dog Armando. Hey, Let me see. Give me my Armando. I love him. Oh, he's my baby. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's so fashionable in his sweater. Very sexy dog. He's a fashion it dog. Armando. <laughs> I love him. You like in fashion today? I love fashion. Fashion is really fun. <laughs> I look really good in my sweater. It's Coogee of Australia. He's wearing Coogee of Australia, is he not? Um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is Roger, Roger. Hello. Father, father of yes. Armando. He's been on your show a couple of times now, right? Well, he's a fashion diva. He's a fashion he, dog. Well, he, you know, it isn't a show without Armando backstage. It's not, so. it's not a show without Armando. So here, take Mr. Armando. Right. And his Coogee of Australia sweater, looking good. Hey, where's Eugenio? Hey, designer, how are you? Right, you? Eugenio, what's going on? I'm excited. So, what's changing this season from last season? Because you always do, you're always exciting. I always get excited when I come here. Uh, this season we have, we play every time like our exclusivity fabric. This season we do the laser print on the fur, like pony fur mm -hmm. with the laser. We do our print on the leather, we play our exclusivity fabric with print frog on top of the silk, on top of the knitwear. different fabrics, yeah. you mix a lot of stuff together. Yes, Gucci was known for to mix all the color, fabric, all these things. And I try to translate these particular things with less color, but mm. the same concept. Mm. Like you're kind of also famous for leather. Yes, because uh, I think that the translated the movement to push on the leather is very good. You can do very good things. It's sexy. Very, very sexy. sexy. Very sexy. <laughs> like in the other season, we, we do like the woman very sexy. This season we do sexy, but more streetwear, more urban, more uh, wild. How many seasons have you been designing for them? For Gucci, it's like four seasons they are designed for them, and it's the second season that we do the show. Second season. I didn't even know this, but I was telling a friend, oh, I'm interviewing the designer from Gucci. She's like, oh, I love their sweaters. You are really famous for, for the, the, the sweater, which I didn't know. So, but that sweater is like, what, 20, 30 years yes, in existence? Yes, it's like 50 years that they do knitwear, so when they call me to do some new, I decide to do some 
different kind of collection. Every time with the movement Gucci, but uh, more fashion. I see some jeans too, you're doing some denim. Yes, now that's because, more casual. Because it's the collection that we do like da, down under blue that is part of the collection. Because we presented this uh, show, we present the signature at down under blue. That mm -hmm. is a true collection that Gucci do. So I try to put also some denim. Mm -hmm. But the denim that I use is, I have the basic denim in the collection, but the show I put denim misc, misc mm -hmm. with the pony laser. Mm -hmm. You have to stay in New York forever. Okay, thank you. Love that Eugenio. Now we're going to go to one of my gal pals, Miss Nanette Rapport. So we have to go to the studio. Hey, there's no free gifts here. I want some free swag. My cameraman taught me this really new term. You know, when you're an editor and you get to like sit at your seat and it's gifts, you know, stuff, products, whatever, they call it swag. Swag. So I'm not getting any swag today. Hey, how you doing today? Oh, I'm working hard today. You gonna open the door for me? How nice are these guys? See, look at this. This is class, I love that. Thank you very much. We just barged into another show. I love Fassie. How are you? How are you doing? All right, we gotta go get Nanette though, come on. Nanette Lepore. My assistant gets Nanette. You know what? He's just loaded up. Look at these credentials. Let me in. He's serious. Serious about fashion. Hardcore. Hardcore. Hardcore fashionista. That's right. OK, I'm talking to Jim, Jim and Robert. Jim Lepore. That's how she got her name. Would that be correct? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> it makes her legal. Are you, are you proud of your daughter? Oh, heavens, yeah. I'm so very, very proud of my daughter. And my other, my other kids as well. So how are you doing? I'm doing really well. We just had a birthday party for our daughter. She was three Aww, on the 13th. Cute. She's supposed to arrive any minute. I'm when just complaining to, to my PR company. Everything's running too smooth. Something's, gonna, something's wrong here. No, no. no. Oh, you, you Everybody's on time. Go. Thank a, you. Are you going away? Looks like he's going on a trip. <laughs> Wait, you are? Where are you going? Around the pool. Oh, <laughs> you know, in New York, that's a trip. That is a trip. Yeah, that's a real trip. And getting there is not easy. Lynette <laughs> was getting her hair and makeup and getting all beautified, so she's looking good now. You're looking good. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Are we getting a little preview of what we're going to see on the runway? A little vintage, a little like oh, yes. see. Yeah, I'm sort of the preview. I'm the pretend preview. You'll see a few belts, a few pins. This is the lucky horseshoe pin now. A is that real diamonds, vintage? It's real fake diamonds, probably. <laughs> <laughs> of you, I think of dresses. We're doing a lot of dresses yeah. this season or more pants. No, fun, flirty dresses and lots of pants. But the dresses are great because they have a lot of shape this time. So, and they're very corseted. So the dress is going to make your shape. You're not making the dress this time. So we're thinking kind of lingerie-ish in a way, a little? Um, more not... like corset, corsetry stitching and boning out of heavy-duty fabrics, tweeds and thick velvets and things like that. So it's not that lacy lingerie, it's more like... It's all sexy you. though. It is, it's very sexy and sassy. Well, I like sexy and sassy. That's the way I want to look always, you know. It's the only way to go. Store on Broom Street, 423 Broom. It's very pretty. That is so cool. So yeah. that, is, is it cool to wear these tops with jeans? 
That's the that, only way they, to go. Otherwise, you feel a little too dressed up. Jeans are so back. Like everybody, every oh, top editor is wearing jeans. And I was never a jeans girl. I know they're really back if I'm doing it. Every designer seems to just kind of get it together. Like everyone does belts or they're doing boots on the run. It just seems like you all think alike. And you don't really talk to each other. Designers don't really talk. No, we do not compare <laughs> notes. <laughs> that would not be, you know. Something happens. There's something in the air. Well, how do you get your influences? Do you like buy like old kind of vintagey stuff and then think about it? Yeah, I buy a lot of vintage. I have a whole room full of vintage at our office. So, and I go, I go home to a, a, an unspecified city, and I buy lots, I won't say, I don't want anyone going there. I buy lots and lots of vintage, I like fill the car full, and then we just unload it into the vintage room, and then when we need an idea, or we're like bored with what we're doing, we just like browse through. What are you doing for legwear trends? Um, like where we're using heavier wooly tights with like flecks of color in them. It's like how jeans work to counterbalance a really dressy top. Like a thicker kind of outdoorsy tight works to make a dress that you feel is a little like over the top. It anchors it a little. I think people are tired of feeling super dressed up. If they want to get dressed up, they want to do it but not feel like uncomfortable with it. So that kind of helps the mood. Violet. Happy birthday, Violet. Happy birthday, Violet. Oh, Violet. What's your birthday? It's so cute. Yeah. So she's into fashion. She needs to model. She needs to like work the runway. She's going out on the runway today. Yeah, you want to take her to get a cookie? Let's, okay, take cookie. her to get a cookie. Cookie break. They're right hey, there. Cookie. Come on, Violet. cookie break. I'm worried about her outfit though for the yeah. runway. Why? You, you well, made I styled it. her. And then we unstyled her over That's the phone. It? Yeah, that's her runway look. Oh, that's what do you so think? cute. I think it's working. Look she at those red shoes. Belt. Okay, it's working. I love that. Oh, no. this be cuter for Wait, her? This, is, this would fit my leg. <laughs> this would fit my thigh. That's a thigh <laughs> skirt. <laughs> this is so cute. What are you giving away this season? I have to go snatch one. Well, we have a really sexy garter, a really amazing NARS lipstick called The Fire Down Below, Ooh. and a fabulous book about shopping in New York called Where to Wear. I need that. has my store covered in it. So it's a great giveaway. Good booty. We love booty. Get All your right. booty. I'm getting my booty. Ooh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I love your stuff. Thank you, Annette. Thanks for joining me on this stylish edition of Behind the Velvet Ropes. Come back next week for more fashion, style, and glamour.